Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make these slides and also these transitions. They are really easy to make. You just need to understand some graphs. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So first of all, guys, you will need some material like the background and some overlays. You guys can get all of these material which I use from my Discord server. So make sure to join it from the link in the description. Anyways, moving on to the tutorial. First of all, you will obviously need to make a background. I'm going to show you how to make the whole clip right now because I gave it some movement in it. So I'm going to teach you that too. So first of all, just add your backgrounds on the beats, like split it and make it off like one beat. Next, what you have to do is adjust it according to your screen ratio, minus 950 extendity. So I'm just going to zoom in and adjust all of these backgrounds like this. Now, if you want to add the cutout, you can add your cutouts through here right now and make sure to split them on the beat. After adding the cutouts, you have to adjust them to like make their size small and make them fit the ratio like this. Make sure they are not too big nor too small. So that will do the work. After adjusting the cutouts, first we will adjust the background. So select all of the BGs, then you have to go to adjustment curves and then go to that white graph and just drag it a little bit down from the middle, just like this. This will make it darker. And then what you need to do is go to video basics and then you need to make the occupancy around 70 or 60, depending on the background. If it's too bright, just keep it at 50 or 60. If it's not, then keep it at 70 at least. After this, you'll have to add the overlay, this one, the speed line one. Now what you have to do is just adjust it according to your need. If you want it completely on your background, you can keep that and just make its occupancy to screen and that will just work. You can change its color from the adjustment to just make the saturation zero and you can just change it from the curves or from the temperature or anything else. I'm just gonna rotate it here because I want it like at the top right corner and also at the bottom left. So I just rotated it here and put it up right here. Now I'm just gonna mask it. So I'll just go to the video mask, then give it the split. And I'm just gonna rotate it just like this. So it kind of looks like it's at the top left corner. Then I'm just gonna copy paste it and put it at the bottom right corner. So that's how I made these speed lines. Now I'm just gonna copy paste it and rotate it to the other side for the next clip. And I'm just gonna repeat it for the next two clips too. Now guys, the next thing is the character movement. So for that, we'll have to give it some keyframes. So select the first cutout now, add a keyframe at the starting and one at the ending. Now at the starting, if you want to make it go from down to up, just drag it down just like this. Then for the next cutouts, you can do the opposite, like make it go from up to down. So I'm just gonna give it some keyframes. So it comes from up to down. Next for the other cutout, I'll just make it go from down to up again. So just do the same keyframing and make it go down at the starting. And then for the last cutout, I'm just gonna make it go from right to left. So add a keyframe at the starting, one at the ending. Now at the starting, just make it go a little bit to the right like this. So that's the keyframing you guys gonna do here. Now for the graph, it's really simple. Just add the graph to the second keyframe and drag it straight like this. And make sure it's not much down nor up. It should be straight like this. Then give graph to the first keyframe and then move it a little bit up just like this. Do the same for all of these graphs. It's gonna be the same graph for all of these. So after doing your keyframing in the graphs, now what you guys need to do is make the contour light. So for that, first of all, just copy paste these cutouts. Now go to the curves and then make this white graph go down like this. This will make it black. Now copy paste it and put it above like this. And now copy paste the original one once again. Now you have to go to curves and just make the white graph up to the left corner from bottom and from the top right corner too. So just do that, then go to adjustment and now make the contrast and exposure 50. Do this for all of these because you're gonna make it white. Now for the next step, you will have to add an effect called blur on the first cutout like this. On the black one, now make it blur around seven. Next, you're gonna move it to the right side like this, make it minus six X and then you can change it to whatever you want. 
So just do these adjustments by your need and your cutout. I'm just gonna do that here and fast forward it. After this, you will have to compound clip the white one and this black one separately. And now we're gonna give it glow two. So for that, just add glow two on this and make the glow and size 100. Now add one more time and make the size around 15 or 20 and make the glow 100. Do this for all of these and select all of these compound clip and change their occupancy mode to screen. Now you guys can change its color from the curves or the tint or temperature. And now you guys have to export all of these clips separately. I have already done them, so there's no need for me to export them again. I'm just gonna import them back in the timeline. Now, first of all, you will have to select all of this and then give it canvas, blur, and select the first one. Now for the keyframing, for the zooms, give it a scale keyframe at the starting, one at the ending, and at the ending, make it 130 or 150 max, and at the starting, make sure it's 70. So that's the thing you're gonna do here. And for the graphs, they are quite simple. First of all, give a graph to the first keyframe and move it a little bit up just like this. Then for the second keyframe, give it a graph line and make it straight and a little bit down just like this. So that's the graph that you're gonna do here for the next zoom in or the zoom out, it's quite simple. Now for the zoom out, select the second clip, give it a scale keyframe at the starting, one at the ending. Now at the starting, make it around 200 or 300, depends upon you how much zoom out you want. Now give the same graph for the first keyframe, move it down just like this. And for the second one, make it straight and a little bit up just like this. Now that's the graph you're gonna do here. Do the same for the next two clips too. And next we are gonna give it the transitions. So guys, for this transition, you will have to export the still frame from your clip on which this transition is gonna apply. So just export that frame in 1080p. Now after that, you will have to import it back in your timeline and then put it above the first clip. Now you'll have to make its length around like this much, make sure it's half of the clip, more than half of the clip. Then you'll have to mask it. So go to mask and then split it, rotate it to 90 degree, then copy paste it and rotate it to the minus 90 degree. Now you'll have these two other parts, split it. Now give it some X and Y keyframe, one at the starting and one at the ending. Now at the starting, make it go out of the screen, do the same for the other splitted part two. Then for the graphs, just open the keyframe animation, give graph to the first keyframe and make it straight like this in the middle. So that's the graph you're gonna do here for the other clip too. And you're done with this transition. If you guys want to add shadow, so for that, you will have to copy paste these two, put them below these. Now go to their curves and then make each and every curve go down just like this. Now go to their mask individually, you'll have to give them feather to 25. So now as you can see, this transition is done. Now for the next one, that's quite simple and easy and you will have to just do a bullet of what you did in this transition. Just copy paste these cutouts on the next clip, on the third one because it's a split one. So we're gonna put it on that. Now you'll have to give it the opposite keyframe. So first of all, at the starting, give it a keyframe, then at the ending, make it go out of the screen. Do the same for the other splitted part too. And now for the graph, just open the keyframe animation, give graph to the second keyframe and make it a little bit straight at the middle like this. Do the same for the other one too, and you're done with this transition. And likewise, if you want to add shadow to it, you can just do the same method as we did before. So now, as you can see, I taught you this zoom out and zoom in, and also these transitions. These are done now. Now let's move on to the slide. So first of all, guys, you will need three clips, which should be at least two beats long. So these are the clips which I'm gonna use here. I have already made them. Just do the same thing that I taught you before on these two clips, but make them of two beats long. So first of all, for the first clip, I'm gonna give it a zoom out, then it will slide to the other transition. So let's begin. For the zoom out, add a scale keyframe at the starting, and then one at the middle of this beat, like just here, and then add X and Y keyframe there too. Now what you have to do is just give it a zoom in 
the zoom out is done now we'll give it the slide now put the other clip right above where this second keyframe is now add a scale and x and y keyframe there now you have to make this clip move out of the screen to the left side just like this now what you guys need to do is select both of these and then go at the middle of the other beat the second one and then select both of these now you have to zoom out from the player like this just press control and then with your mouse roller you can just zoom out now just with the help of your mouse just add a zoom in and also make it in the center like the next clip should look like it's at the middle like this and then there you have it you're done with the slide now the next thing is just the graph but before that we're gonna add the third clip here too so it look good so for the next one now we're gonna do the opposite of it so for that first of all just add the third clip above the keyframe the second one right here copy the last keyframe of the first clip and paste it on the first frame of the third clip then copy the first frame of the second clip and paste it at the middle of the third beat on the second clip i know it's kind of confusing but you have to do that then at the same frame you'll have to change the scale and x back to zero at the default of the third clip so these are the keyframings that you have to do if i couldn't explain them properly i'm sorry because it's all messed up anyways moving on to the tutorial next is the graph now these are the main thing you'll have to do exactly like me so make sure you follow them correctly otherwise your clip will not look good at all so for the graph first of all add a graph to the second keyframe of the scale now make it a little bit straight and a little bit up at the right side like this then for the third keyframe give it the graph line and make it go straight like this and make sure it's a little bit forward than the beat just like this then do the same for x and y now make sure that wherever this first graph was ending x should be exactly there too then same for the other clips too make sure it always lands where the first graph was so do the same keyframing for the other one and then you just have to repeat the same thing over and over again on the second clip too and on the third beat and on the third clip too so that's the thing and these are the graph which you're gonna do here they are a bit confusing but if you see them properly or just mute me and then just see them i hope you guys understand them or anything so that's just basically it i'm trying my best to make you guys understand but i don't know if you guys are understanding me at all or no anyways and yeah that's it that's how you can make these slides and these transitions these zoom in and zoom out i hope you guys understood this tutorial the last thing that you're going to do here is just compound clip all of this or just export it and then import it back in your timeline and give it motion blur and that's it this is how i made these slides and these transitions i hope you guys understood this tutorial i don't think so anyways see you guys in another tutorial till then Bye-bye. Sorry.